I'm Insomniac and this is Don Pablo Bourbon Infused Coffee. Okay, bourbon infused coffee from Don Pablo Coffee Growers and Roasters. Now, I try to steer clear of infused and flavored coffees as much as I can. It's really not my thing. But with this one, I figured, what the hell? I like bourbon. I like coffee. Let's see if this is any good. Plus, the only ingredients in this coffee are organic Arabica coffee and Kentucky bourbon. So, pretty straightforward. We have a little description back here on the back of the barrel looking package which I'll show you up close in a second. It says coffee soaked in fine Kentucky bourbon then roasted to remove the alcohol so only the bourbon flavor remains. It says our organic specialty grade coffee is soaked in fine Kentucky bourbon before it's roasted until the beans absorb every drop. It is then dried and roasted in small batches to a perfect blonde roast. The natural sugars in the beans and the bourbon are in perfect harmony when roasted just right. The result is an intense and full-bodied coffee with bourbon flavor notes of caramel, honey, and butterscotch. The marriage of these natural flavors is a fine balance of sweet and spice, fruitiness and nuttiness, partially derived from the bourbon's maturation in seasoned oak casks. The coffee's natural cocoa-toned finish <sighs> is very smooth and velvet-like with a lasting residual sweetness that calls for another sip. Well, I'll tell you, I understand that, you know, you have to sell the product, but that is an optimistic description. Bullshit. I've learned to smell bullshit from miles and miles. What? They're telling you that this is going to be uh, intense and full-bodied. You're going to get caramel, honey, and butterscotch, sweet and spicy, fruitiness and nuttiness, all from this one coffee. Bullshit. Here's a better look at the packaging. Packaging is pretty cool because it's supposed to look like a, uh, a whiskey barrel. So, I mean, obviously it's, you know, cardboard. It's not wood. Would have helped if I didn't have the text upside down for you there on camera. Top is the same. So, cool presentation. I'll give him that. Inside here, damn. The first thing you notice as soon as you take this top off is you get punched in the face with a bourbon note. And I don't mean subtle, like, oh, a nice little kind of bourbon aroma comes out of the barrel. I mean, it's, ki it's kind of like being hit in the face. It's actually extraordinarily overdone. Here is the interesting thing. You would think that being that I'm saying that, that you open that and the coffee beans are right here. They're not. There's a bag. You can literally smell the coffee through the bag after you open this barrel thing. Well, that's not how I wanted to put that down, but okay. So here's a quick close up of the bag, and then I'm going to show you the beans, and then we're going to get right into this. All right, here's a quick look at the beans themselves. All right. Okay, once you open the bag, uh, that aroma that was insanely large out of the barrel is 10 times that once you open the bag. And I mean, I don't even have my face over the bag right now. I mean, this is how aromatic this is. Really what you smell is the bourbon, which I'm not surprised, but what I'm saying is, I really don't smell coffee almost at all. Like I, there might be a little bit of a kind of, uh, well, I was gonna say kind of like a little bit of a toasted caramel type aroma that maybe could be the coffee, but that could absolutely be uh, the bourbon that they used to infuse the coffee as well, and not the coffee. So basically it smells like a sweet, not not bad in any way, but uh, just a general sweet bourbon. It smells like, like bourbon. Uh, let's hope that there's some coffee identity left once it's uh, brewed. Now you're probably wondering, uh, how are you brewing this? I don't see your French press or your AeroPress, which is what I normally use basically for every review at this point. If you thought I was going to bother French pressing an infused coffee, you're out of your mind. So we're bringing out everybody's least favorite friend, the Drip Coffee Maker. <laughs> 
Let's get some of this brewed up. Okay, so we have some of this bourbon infused coffee brewed up and the very first thing to note has nothing to do with sniffing anything out of the cup. This coffee when you brew it, this is the second time that I've done it, I actually uh, brewed a cup off camera when I first got this coffee. My entire, entire living space, I mean every room in this house, literally smells like this coffee when you brew it. Now if you love the scent of warm bourbon soaked wood and maybe the faintest hint of coffee then maybe you're not going to mind having your entire house smell like this but uh last time and this time it was uh borderline i think the best word to use is offensive i don't use that word too often but i mean this is the kind of thing where i made sure i did this review today while nobody was home because when i brewed the first batch of this when i first got it uh, there were people here and I'm pretty sure everybody left. I'm not exaggerating. That is how aromatic this coffee is if you put it through a drip coffee maker. So that's the start. Bourbon is literally and obviously most of the aroma. It smells like warm bourbon. Has a little bit of that caramel sweetness and even a little bit of the toastiness like it had out of the bag. And then, like I mentioned, in terms of the overall house aromas, uh, you definitely get a little bit of a kind of damp wood aroma. But yeah, the only type of coffee aroma that you get is, I think I could smell some coffee in there. But not even enough to maybe kind of give you an... It's just bourbon. Alright, let's give it a shot. Mmm. Okay, well... Let me start by saying that I've had bourbon and coffee, different types of whiskey and coffee, and first of all, the ratio is important. You don't go pouring a half a bottle of whiskey into your coffee. I mean, I don't anyway. And the base that you start with usually is a coffee that you like, and that's crucial. A good coffee, a good whiskey, the right amount of the two, just to give you a little bit of that whiskey flavor and kick in the coffee. This is nothing like that. You do get a bourbon flavor hands down, and in fact, I'll get a little bit more in detail in a second, but again, you really don't get much coffee here. It kinda tastes like a weird, diluted, soaked warm bourbon. It says on the bag and on this thing here, the first thing that it says on the back is coffee soaked in fine Kentucky bourbon then roasted to remove the alcohol so only the bourbon flavor remains. Now, I think they meant only the bourbon flavor as in there won't be any alcohol flavor that remains. Funny thing is, what they actually accidentally did here is told you what exactly this coffee was going to be like, right here in this first sentence. So only the bourbon flavor remains is basically, that could be the name of this entire review. There is no identity to this coffee whatsoever. And I know some of you are probably watching this going, well, what the hell does he expect? He's reviewing an infused coffee. I've had infused coffees before. Obviously, you're not going to get all of the complexities and delicacies that maybe you could pick out of a cup of standard coffee because it's infused with something. But this, I'm telling you, between the aromas and the overall flavor and the way that they soaked these beans, it's not like a lot of other infused coffees. It is really, really overpowering in terms of the bourbon aspect of it. I mean, they could have just figured out a way to take the alcohol out of bourbon and just had you put it through a coffee maker and I'm pretty sure this is what you would have got. So you get the bourbon, obviously. Whether or not it's good bourbon, I don't know, but you can definitely tell that right off the bat. And there is a little bit of, there's, listen, there's a tiny bit more coffee to the flavor than there is to the aroma. The aroma, honestly, you don't smell coffee. I haven't smelled coffee at all this whole time I've been sitting here. You only get that bourbon aroma. When you drink it, it's like 80% a bourbon flavor. But then after that initial huge shot of bourbon flavor, uh, you do get a kind of nice earthy dark roast style coffee flavor. You also get a little bit of sweetness in there, 
more like a bourbon sweetness, more of that kind of like syrupy caramel type sweetness. You really don't get a lot of that though. In fact, what it kind of rides out with is a mix of heavy earth and almost like, there's, don't get me wrong, there is no alcohol in here whatsoever, but almost like the aftertaste that you would get from some alcoholic drinks, not necessarily bourbon though actually, more like the aftertaste you would get when you're drinking a beer. So you get kind of like a beer-like alcohol aftertaste mixed with a really heavy earth, and that, I mean, it's just, it's stuck there. Ugh. In terms of body, it's actually very, very big. It's not watery or thin. Uh, it's really bold. You do get a lot of flavor. Uh, the only problem is, you have to like this flavor. And this is probably the eighth time I've said this in this review, but I love coffee. I drank a lot of bourbon and I've put a lot of whiskey in coffee in the past. This does not meet any of the standards of enjoyable, in my opinion. I think you can all see what's happening here. I'm taking a very, very long road around telling you all that, for me personally anyway, I don't like this coffee at all. The aroma is offensive, the flavor is decent at best. Tell us how you really feel. You know but then it leaves a huge, just thick, not very enjoyable flavor in your mouth that like even right now as I'm speaking to you, I was kind of uh, looking out of my peripheral vision trying to figure out if there was a bottle of water or something somewhere here, but there's not. So I'm gonna have to get through this review as quickly as possible so I can go drink a Snapple or something because the flavor this is leaving in my mouth it's just freaking disgusting. On a scale from 1 to 10 Mike Tyson's, I'm giving it a 1. And with the end of this review comes the end of an era for me. Don't anybody have a heart attack if you enjoy watching this channel. I'm not talking about... <laughs> People are probably thinking, holy shit, that coffee was so bad that he quit the entire coffee channel. No, that's not what I was about to say. Uh, but in terms of me going, yeah, okay, and trying any more infused or flavored coffees once in a while, absolutely never happening again so if anybody watching this has coffees that they'd like to see reviewed on this channel feel free to email me at should i drink this at gmail.com and i'll let you know where to send it and tell you what i need etc uh, but if you any any infused or flavored coffees from here on out um yeah i just think it's never happening again like i said i don't really like to do those on the channel anyway i kind of don't believe in them they're like against my coffee religion uh, but yeah, wow, this was um, this was pretty bad. I certainly appreciate this being sent in though. First of all, I was curious about it, so, so it's awesome to have been able to try it without having to pay for it, because I probably would have went back to where I got it and threw it through a window. And it's more content for everybody to enjoy, and hopefully this will help a few people who are maybe on the fence about trying this, <laughs> not try it. Okay, well, I'm gonna go uh, scrub this with gasoline and a match and I will see you all at the next one.